Fellow HP Touchpad users, this is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and I was just informed that the Cyanogen Mod team has released the Alpha 3 uh, of the Android build for our touchpad. And so I am going to take you now to the RootsWiki webpage in their forum where I have found a link to this Alpha 3 release. Now what we're going to do is I will put a link to this in the description of the video and if you scroll down uh, far enough you will find this link right here of the Alpha 3 and I am going to download this and then we are going to copy this file onto the touchpad and then we're going to use the clockwork recovery to uh, install it and it uh, looks like it's a 90 megabyte file and you can see it downloading there in the corner so once this is uh, successfully downloaded I will then take it and copy it to my touchpad and uh, then we'll use the clockwork mod uh, clockwork recovery mod to install it okay my file has finally finished downloading and here it is in my downloads and so what I need to do is I need to plug in my touchpad and I need to set the touchpad to USB connection so I can access the storage on the touchpad and there it is and so I will open this up and for ease of use I'm just going to drop this file I'm just going to copy it right onto the root of my touchpad. This will make it much easier for me to go and find it when I do log into the uh, uh, clockwork recovery. All right, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my touchpad and show you where we go from here. On the touchpad, I can actually turn off the USB storage. I'm done there and unplug my USB cable. And I'm back to my uh, home screen here. Now, I do want to demonstrate for you, uh, and before anybody asks, I, this is beautiful widgets. I've purchased it, and everything else here is uh, the uh, ice cream sandwich uh, tweaked uh, CM7 theme chooser. Uh, I have a, a different video that shows you how to choose this, and uh, you can go watch that video. That that's not uh, that's not uh, what this video is about. So let's go to our settings, and we're going to go to about the tablet here, and I'm going to show you that I have a. Uh, it says the mod version is uh, RC1 uh, tenderloin, and uh, this indicates that this is not. Um, yet the alpha 3 so let's go put the alpha 3 on to our touchpad at this point now uh, again uh, just to clarify what we've done uh, I'm gonna go into the uh, ES file explorer here and demonstrate for you that on the root of my SD card it's not really an SD card but it's what Android sees as the SD card is this CM7 uh, item and I'll I don't really have the ability to uh, demonstrate for you the rest of it but anyway this is what we're going to update use for the update so I am going to now hold down the power key and do reboot and I'm going to reboot into recovery Okay, welcome to Clockwork Recovery here. Uh, this can also be accessed by simply turning off and back on your tablet and choosing it from the MoBoot menu. If this doesn't show up or you don't have this option, that means that you did not install the Clockwork uh, Mod Recovery when you installed your Android originally. Uh, if that's the case, then I would recommend going and uh, installing that using any one of my other install videos. Now, if this is your first time installing Android on your device, and uh, you do not already have the Alpha 1 or the Alpha 2 
0.1 and you only have WebOS, I highly recommend watching one of my other videos in terms of how to install for the first time. And what you would do to use this new updated Alpha 3 is use this file that we just downloaded in place of the version 1 or version 2 uh, of the uh, Cyanogen mod build. So that, that seems pretty self-explanatory, I hope. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into install zip from SD card. And we're going to use our volume up and down buttons. And then we're using our home button as the enter. So I hit enter. And then I'm going to choose zip. It says choose zip from SD card. So I'm going to choose that top item there. Okay, here's everything that's on our, uh, well, on my uh, so-called SD card at this point. And I'm going to scroll all the way down. Again, I'm using the volume buttons. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Oh, went too far. Might as well have just gone up at this point. So I have update uh, CM 7.1.0 Tenderloin A3 full of bugs sign.zip. Now that is the file that I'm going to choose. I'm going to highlight it and use my home key. And then it always wants to have this uh, confirmed. And I will choose yes. And now it is installing this. Now again, this is installing on top of the version 2.1. So if you don't already have a version of Android, this process will, it won't even work because you won't have Clockwork Recovery Mod uh, to begin with. Uh, again, check out my other videos. Uh, the other videos are chock full of information on how to acquire uh, my theme and uh, the different features that I have on mine. I get many a question of how do I get mine to look like yours. Well, that's why I make the videos so you can do that. Now, before we go back, well, we're going to go back, but before we reboot, uh, I'm going to suggest that you do two other things because one of the most important pieces to this is to make sure that everything goes smoothly. You don't want boot looping, you don't want crashing, and so to ensure that this goes smoothly, after you do the update, I'm going to suggest two things. I'm going to suggest that you do the wipe cache partition. I'm going to do that now. And then we're going to go to the advanced, and we're also going to wipe our Dalvik cache. Okay, and then, you know, that, that, that pretty much does it. Now, people who have had boot loops where it just doesn't want to load, uh, that's a quick fix. You can come in and wipe your Dalvik cache and wipe your, um, wipe your uh, cache partition, and that may help you with that. So I think we're ready to reboot now. So I'm going to choose reboot here at the top of the menu and hit the home, and we see what happens. Now, if you don't, and here's our typical MoBoot option, and I will choose Cyanogen Mod. For those of you who have not watched my other videos, I had a custom boot animation on mine, uh, a transformer boot animation, and that uh, I would predict is probably going to be gone, and it's going to revert back to the stock boot animation we'll see here in just a moment. There we have it. All right, and that, that was, that's to be expected. I mean, that's part of the uh, system folder, which has been updated uh, along with uh, other items, I'm sure. Now, this boot here will take quite a bit of time uh, just because it's reestablishing itself. Uh, my prediction here is that once we get back into our uh, Android, that uh, my theme, my widgets, and all of that should retain their settings and uh, all you'll see is that the infrastructure underneath, and I will go and show that the uh, version has updated. Now, some of the things that have been fixed here uh, while we're waiting for this to boot, I've been told that this fixes uh, the uh, sleep of death. Uh, for some of you who have turned it off 
never to have it come back on without doing a hard reboot. That's unfortunate. Uh, I personally have not had that happen as much since the Alpha 2.1, but I do know that some other people are still experiencing that. This is uh, going to address that, along with also some Wi-Fi tweaks, and then I've also been told that there have been some uh, uh, additional um, graphic tweaking in terms of 2D versus uh, 3D rendering. Um, the potential for that is uh, smoothness, uh, switching back and forth. Uh, I've also been told that the tablet tweak bar is uh, going to be a little less memory intensive. Hopefully that will help fix some of the uh, uh, frequent crashes of that feature. Um, keep in mind that this is still an alpha build and uh, we should be extremely grateful for what we do have here. Uh, it, it, it mystifies me uh, every time I look at this that I actually have Android running on this device. So please uh, take time to say a big thank you to the people involved here. All right. Wow. Okay. Let me give this a little flip here. So it looks like at least two of my widgets here have maintained. And there we have it. Wow, that looks uh, identical to what I had previously. Of course, it's still building up here and still trying to uh, get settled down. Anytime you do a new flash, anytime you do any new type of uh, uh, update or anything to your device where it requires a hard reboot and it takes a little bit longer, be patient with it. Let it, let it calm down. Let it, let it settle. All right. So it looks like we're in good shape here other than my battery being horribly low. Let me go into the settings and we'll go to the about tablet and you'll notice now that down here my mod version shows Cyanogen Mod 7.1.0 Tenderloin Alpha 3 and that is a very very nice thing to see so from here I'll go in I'll play around I'll see if I can break it or see what kind of wonderful new uh, things I experience uh, with it and uh, hopefully this ends up uh, solving a lot of problems for a lot of you in terms of some of the crashings and whatnot. All right, so uh, this has been Reverend Kyle, and uh, hopefully you have as much success with this process as I have. If not, uh, feel free to uh, send me a note or make a comment. Uh, I do want to remind you all that you can follow me uh, on Twitter, uh, at Reverend KJR, or you can go and find Rev TV. Uh, on Facebook. Uh, I have been uh, spending uh, lots of time on that Facebook page, so if you want some immediate contact with me, that would be the way to go. Uh, if not, the traditional uh, YouTube uh, posts uh, or messages uh, are also adequate. I always try to get back to all of you uh, as quickly as I can. Uh, just be patient. I do have a life. <laughs> no, I don't. All right, anyway, uh, so this has been Reverend Kyle. Uh, happy flashing.